Hey guys, it's Stephanie. Welcome back to my channel. As you can tell from the title, in today's video, I'm going to be doing a all drugstore soft glam makeup look. Now, a few days ago on my Instagram, I posted this boomerang and I got so many compliments, so thank you guys. And I also um, put up a little poll and asked you guys if you guys wanted me to film this look because I got so many compliments. So I decided to film it for you guys. And yes, not every single thing in this video is from the drugstore, but 90% of it is. I will put everything in the description bar down below for you guys. So if you're interested in any of the products, make sure you check out the description bar down below. But before we get into it, actually, I'm gonna need you guys to hit that subscribe button down below and also hit the bell button right next to it. That way you can be notified every single time I upload another video. Make sure you give this video a big fat thumbs up. And also before we get into it, I know my hair looks crazy. I like to lay my wigs and everything after I do my makeup, so don't come for your girl i know i look a mess but it's okay because you know now i look cute so yeah okay now let's get into it i don't know about y'all but i just have not found a good drugstore primer i have tried literally every brand and nothing compares that day specifically i was going out to a party so um i made sure that i really prime my face because you don't want you know your makeup to sweat off and things like that so the first primer i used was this one it is the urban decay b6 primer spray i love this stuff just a little but it just gives like a little bit of hydration to the face and helps prime the face i really like it especially if you have dry skin girl get into this and the next primer i used was the bobby brown vitamin and rich face base i bought this with my little sephora points and this primer is so good like when this little one finishes i don't know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna have to probably invest in the full one because this stuff is so good like it just leaves your face feeling so smooth and like just ready for makeup it also smells like lemons like it smells so good i just love this stuff on top of that primer, I also used the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip. I'm sure you guys have heard about this primer. This stuff is so good. I bought the small one and I ended up buying the full size one because I ran out of that small one. It's really good. Um, especially for like my dry skin girls out there. This stuff is the truth. For foundation, I used the Juvia's Place foundation. I know there's like a lot of mixed opinions and mixed views on this brand and this foundation, but I like it and I bought it before all that problematic stuff came out. <laughs> but yeah, this is the foundation that I used in that image and it just works really good. It matches me pretty well and it stays on for a great amount of time. My only problem with this foundation is that she can be a little bit cakey, so you have to just really be mindful on how you apply it. I personally just apply it to like my problem areas and then blend out. So I just apply it very, very lightly just to those areas that I wanna cover. And then I just go on top with a brush and blend it out. Lose coverage though, y'all. So next for concealer, I have been loving, loving, loving these Maybelline Instant Age Wine Concealers. I use two. I use the shade Tan and the shade Caramel. They're so good. I've been using these for a while. I even have backups on deck. I love them. Um, so I like to put the darker shade Tan. I like to put that one like directly like right under my eye first. And then I like to follow up with the lighter one, Caramel, right under just to add that like brightness under there. Then I'm gonna go back in with tan and apply that one on my chin, as well as a little bit on my forehead and down the bridge of my nose. So I like to let my concealer dry down. Um, and while it does that, I like to fill in my brows. Um, this is another item that the drugstore just always has filled me in, and it is brow pencils and pomades and all that good stuff. If y'all know any good brow pencils from the um, drugstore, please comment them down below, because um, I just can't seem to find a good one. I've tried so many, and none of them work. Um, so I'm going to be going in with Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer Pencil. I love this stuff. 
And before I fill in my brows, a new trick that I've been doing is taking some setting powder and then putting that on my eyebrows first. Um, and then the setting powder I'm using is Miss Sasha Buttercup. She's not a drugstore gal, but she's very affordable. I think you can get her on, on like Amazon. I don't know if any drugstore sells it, um, but please correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. And I'm going to fill in my brows off camera because you guys have seen this like a million times. So I'm going to fill these joints in and then I will be back. All right, I'm back with eyebrows. <laughs> um, and to conceal my brows, I just use the good old LA Girl Pro Concealers. I don't really like these on my face that much. Personally, they just dry me out. But on my brows, they work pretty good. So I just use those. And then I'm also using the ColourPop Brow Gel just to lay my brow hairs in place. I really like this brow gel. I've been using it for a hot minute now. Um, so, yeah, it just makes them look nice and clean and lays them in place so now it is time to blend out the concealer but before i do that i'm just going to spray a little bit of my favorite setting spray in the entire universe the morphe continuous setting mist just a little bit and i just find that my makeup looks just so much more airbrushed and glam like when i do this so yeah and then i'm just taking a good old b wonder to blend it out y'all know the drill Y'all know how this goes. And then to set everything, we're gonna be taking Miss Sasha Buttercup. As the powder sits, I'm going to just take some and apply it to my lids. And now we're going to get into eyeshadow or whatever. The palette I'm going to be using for eyeshadow is the Morphe 35O palette. This one is like a classic YouTube palette. I mean, it just screams soft glam. Look at those shades. I'm going to take a fluffy crease brush and I'm just going to take a brown color. I like to take one that's just a little deeper than my actual skin tone. This one is like a little red. And I'm just going to be using that and just putting that all over my crease area. That's one thing I like about Soft Glam. It's pretty minimalist, which I love. And Soft Glam is like my go-to type of makeup look. So, y'all. I'm going to be taking this light orange color and plopping that on my lids. And I'm not cutting my crease or nothing. I'm just kind of putting it like where I would cut my crease. The inner part of my lid just to kind of brighten things up just a little bit. This is literally all the eyeshadow that I'm going to be applying. Soft Glam is super easy. It's nice and nude. It's not too much. I love it. Now let's get back into the rest of my face. Now we got to dust all this powder off. She's been there for a second. I just let the powder on my nose sit for as long as possible because my nose is the oiliest part of my face, so I like to make sure that the powder sits so she can stay matte. And I promise you guys, this is the last product that is high-end, that is not drugstore that I'm going to be featuring in this video, it is the Fenty Matte Stick in the shade Espresso. Um, I have yet to find a contour shade that matches me as good as this one. I love it. Um, and I'm just going to be using this to sculpt my face and contour it and make me look nice and and just to set that as well as deepen it up a little more I love to use this Morphe Brontour it's like one of my favorite things ever you can see I already hit pan on it I love it I even have a backup ready to go I'm taking the darker contour side and using that to set that um, Fenty cream contour and then I'm gonna be taking the um, bronzer side and then I just kind of focus that one just right here, just to make me look nice and sun-kissed and glowy and airbrushed. <laughs> I'm going to be taking a smaller brush and using that contour side to carve out my nose. Um, I just go really, really light with this. And after that, we're going to go back in with the Morphe spray and just spritz our face again. Mm. it just makes everything like melt and look so seamless and then i'm going to go back in with the 35o palette and i'm going to use this 
like shimmer as a highlight. I'm gonna mix this one with this one and go in and highlight my face. Look at that, y'all. Ooh, yes, darling. I've been obsessed with using eyeshadow as a highlight lately. It's such a good trick and it just looks so good. I'm gonna use my finger to apply it to my nose. That out. Please don't go as overboard as I do with the highlight. It's not necessary. I'm just extra. <laughs> For blush, I'm going to be taking this Juvia's Place blush palette. Um, and then I love to use the shade Tao. It's my favorite blush like ever. I feel like blush is what really ties every soft glam look together. Blush just makes everything look good. So I saw this shirt when I was watching Jackie Ina and Naomi Campbell's video. Taking the blush like literally all the way like to your temple. I've been doing that trick lately and I'm obsessed. And I go overboard on blush because blush is the makeup product on your face that fades the quickest. So I like to be extra with it because it's going to fade anyways throughout the day. It just looks so nice, you get me. I like to put a little bit on my nose. Just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of blush on my nose. So for my eyes, since I have on lash extensions, I'm not really doing too much. I'm just going to take some brown eyeliner and put that on my waterline. This one is from Urban Decay. I used a NYX one and I don't know where I put it. Um, but yeah, any brown eyeliner works. So I'm gonna be taking that brown eyeliner again and I'm just doing a little like wing and then I'm gonna just smudge it out. I'm gonna take this brush to just smudge it out. And I just like to do this to just deepen up the eye a little bit and give my eye that little cat eye effect. For a soft glam, I love a nude, nude lip. And that look, I use my ColourPop BFF3 lip liner. And then I'm just gonna be using this NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Fortune Cookie. Ladies and gents, this is the finished drugstore. Okay, so that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think down below. Also, leave me down some video um, ideas. What do you guys want to see from me? Leave it in the comments so I can film what y'all want to see. But yeah, this is the finished drugstore soft glam makeup look. Super easy, so I know you guys can recreate it. And yeah, that's it for this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Love you. Mwah.